Good morning guys, so most of you have been requesting I share a review of the pressure cooker So mine is Tilak, the brand is Tilak And as you can see from here it has given options of what you can cook with it So here we have stew and meat Here we have beans Here we have soup Here we have steam That is maybe rice here we have beef or mutton. I think the difference between the stew and the beef mutton is when you want something, when you're frying something, you can use the stew part. When you just want to boil, you can use the beef and mutton. This is what I usually use when I, I don't want water on my beef. And here we have porridge. I've not tried that yet. Here we have poultry, that is chicken. And here we have souté, to souté something. Lightly cook, that's the meaning. Here we have yogurt. You can make yogurt with your pressure cooker. I've not tried that yet, but yet to do that. I'll review once I do. Here we have baker cake. And yeah, here we have rice. In case you're cooking rice, you can just click that. Here we have pressure level to measure the pressure level that you're going to use to cook whatever it is that you're cooking. Then, so today I am doing the beans part. I am going to boil my beans. I have beans that I got from Ushago. There they are. I've not soaked them. They are still... They're not the hard ones and I've added some salt and a carrot for the flavor the salt for the flavor the carrot for the excess gas maybe So what I'll do after that I'll just put in my Tifunico so the pressure cooker comes with uh, this measuring cup for measuring water But I've not used it So what I'll do I've just put water because my beans are not too many so I've not added a lot of water as you can see here there's um, an illustration on how you can measure the water this is the full part yeah I don't know if you can see properly this is the full part and that's the number of cups you can add but for me I've just be mad na macho so I'll just lock this up like so and also here it has an instruction on if it's closed or if it's open how to open and how to close as you can see and then I'm gonna lock it I'm gonna lock it first and show it's locked completely then we can start cooking. How to know it's completely locked, as you can see, if I try to lift it, I'm trying to lift it, it can't open at all, at all. So, that's perfect. Then I'll switch on my socket like that. Then I'll select beans. And like I said, since the beans are not the hard beans, is it the hard beans or the mature beans i'll cook this for approximately 10 minutes 10 minutes they'll be done so i'll set a time on my phone then after 10 minutes we're gonna come and check on our beans guys it's that simple imagine if you are using a jiko you you'd use a whole maybe two hours maximum three hours but this one only minutes 40 minutes less your beans are ready and you can cook your food or your meals without stress and pressure. So like I said, when you select beans, it gives you 40 minutes and my beans are not the matured beans. So what I'll do, I'll give it 10 minutes max. Then as you can see from here, there's an instruction on how to know if your pressure cooker is locked. There's this arrow. These two arrows should meet like that to know that your pressure cooker is sealed and this one when they meet it means it's open it's 
that simple guys hakuna story mingi hakuna complications and i've used this more than i don't know uncountable times and it's it's surely a save and yeah in case you're looking to get yourself a pressure cooker i would recommend this brand like that's on period tilak so guys i forgot to mention that this pressure cooker tilak pressure cooker has an option whereby you can seal like the pressure or release so you can cook it quietly without the sh pressure and as you can see i'm using the seal part so it's not making any noise so the sh pressure it's not releasing its pressure outside and that's perfect because the noise itself is a nuisance but now this one has an option whereby you can seal the no the pressure or release the pressure you decide so my i think my beans is done that's like 25 minutes so i'm going to switch it off and give it some time to cool the pressure down then we'll check up on it once the pressure is out and once the pressure cooker cools yes and i'll show you the results so guys my beans are ready as you can see they are completely done watch out amwaga they are completely done so let's check them together and they are super super soft like so yeah so that is for our pressure cooker guys if you are thinking of buying a pressure cooker here's a sign that you really really need it and it's it will be a lifesaver for you. But look at that, guys. I don't know why the camera is not doing it justice because these things are popping. Like they are popping. They are completely cooked and done. So I already I packaged them in these uh, packets. I ran out of Ziploc bags, but this one works perfect. They're like jars, but in paper jars. <laughs> so I just, in case I need to use, I just use one pack. That's all.